Officers from three different police departments equipped with riot gear were called into UC San Diego today to clear that pro-Palestinian uh, encampment with the protesters as they set up that encampment in solidarity with Gaza. This all comes as Hamas accepted a ceasefire proposal, but Israel says they're still far apart. Good Monday evening, I'm Andrew Luria. And I'm Kathleen Bay. Thank you for joining us. Just into the Fox 5 newsroom, a statement from the UC San Diego Chancellor's Office explaining their actions today and what they say they found in that encampment. And Fox 5's Misha DeBono starts us off live from UC San Diego with the latest and what we're learning. Misha. Yeah, good afternoon. It was very tense here this morning on campus after six days of pro-Palestinian rallies, protests, camping out. The university made the decision to go in and clean out that encampment. They were not messing around. They were in full tactical gear when they did so. And in the end, 64 people were taken into custody. Hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters clashed with dozens of law enforcement officers from three different agencies in full tactical riot gear on the campus of UCSD early Monday morning. For six days, protesters have been camping out in a wooded area near the Student Health Center, refusing to leave or allow health officials in, demanding the university cut all ties with Israel. By 6 a.m. Monday, hundreds of university workers protected by police moved in to dismantle the tent village. 64 demonstrators were arrested for unlawful assembly, and that's when things turned violent. Down, Those taken into custody were held at the Price Student Center. Protesters pounding on the glass facade outside, demanding their release. And then tried to stop the buses from leaving campus. Still, the crowds grew with hundreds of protesters now taking over the quad in front of the Price Center. Of the 64 arrested, 40 are actual students of UCSD. The other 24, according to the university, have no affiliation. Those arrested students now under immediate interim suspension. And in all the chaos, there were two reports of minor injuries. And um, as Andrew and Kathleen, as you mentioned at the top, we did just get word from the chancellor's office here at the university, and they explained how they came to this decision. They thought that it was dangerous not only for the people in the encampment, but also students here. Um, they said that they gave ample warning to those within the encampment that they were going to be first asked to leave, and if they refused to leave, they would be detained. And as we know, 64 people were arrested, only 40 of them so far that we know of that are students here. Inside the encampment, they found things like um, batons, aerosol cans, um, lots of sticks, shields. So sort of maybe implying of what was to come, how long they were planning on staying there. But the university saying that, you know, it was just too dangerous both inside and for students outside. And clearly it was uh, very, very intense this morning. Um, clearly they made the right decision. So we'll see what plays out in the coming days. For now that we are live on the campus of UCSD, we'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, Misha starting us off, and that wasn't the end of the story because Misha, following those arrests, hundreds of pro-Palestinian demonstrators then gathered outside the San Diego Central Jail downtown, calling for police to release those protesters. And that's where we find our Juliet Vara. She takes us to the scene. Dozens gathered outside the San Diego Central Jail today, chanting free Palestine and demanding the release of the students that were arrested today. There was a press conference here at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and in the 3 p.m. hour, we saw some students being released. We don't know the exact number, but some have been released, coming out and being met with hugs. Here's video of what the scene was like earlier today. Free our students! Free Community members, alumni, even a UCSD faculty member spoke at the press conference this afternoon, all calling the arrest this morning outrageous and unacceptable. Those gathered here today saying they're angry and hurt at what unfolded this morning on campus. They're calling on the release of the students who were arrested immediately, saying the students were all peacefully protesting and within their rights to do so. They're also calling for the chancellor to resign and asking for students not to face any charges. The staggering loss of life continues to grow. The students were demanding more from their administration. The students were demanding more from their academic institution. The students were demanding more from all of us. And they were met with such brutal force. 
We demand the immediate release of these students without any charge. Shame on them. Shame. The students have been continuously but villainized when their mere ask is to divest their tuition from funding the illegal ongoing genocide in Gaza. This community around us today is a prime example of the Ummah coming together as one. Leading the movement to our demands are met. What they tried to do today was to silence us and to break us, but they didn't know that they only made us stronger. Once the press conference ended, the group of protesters began to march around downtown. Overall, it was a peaceful protest down here. Some drivers even uh, driving by and honking their horns. As you can see, some of these protesters are still here, but they have been scattered out at uh, different intersections here. But again, overall, peaceful here this afternoon. That's the latest from downtown. I'm Juliet Vara. I'll send it back to you. Hey, Juliet, and up in Los Angeles, LAPD officers cleared pro-Palestinian encampments at USC over the weekend. 100 protesters set up tents on uh, at uh, Alumni Park before they were taken down. No arrests were made, but it was the second police crackdown on that campus in less than two weeks. University Park campus was only open today for students, staff, and registered guests. And now to Westwood at UCLA. 43 protesters were arrested there today, accused of conspiracy to commit burglary. Dozens of people could be seen being held by zip ties on a third floor parking structure of that campus. UCLA canceled all in-person classes today. Last week, the campus saw more than 200 arrests. Now to the East Coast, where those protests started at Columbia University. They have now officially camp canceled its main commencement ceremony in the wake of pro-Palestinian protests there. Two big ceremonies were planned for next week, but now the school says they'll be doing smaller celebrations instead. Most of them will also happen off campus, about five miles away at the school's sports complex. This comes as more than 100 pro-Palestinian protesters were arrested on the university's campus last month. Since then, Columbia University canceled all in-person classes. USC called off its big commencement, as Andrew was reporting. There's so many there as well last month. So we'll continue to stay on top of all of these developments across the country.